Hey everyone, it's VM Campos Magic Fan. I picked up a box of mystery boosters. Maybe you hung out with me during the stream as I opened it up live. Maybe not, so this video is for you. Let's take a look at all of the cards that I got at Mystery Booster, the high value ones, things that I might want to put in my decks, and all that fun stuff. So let's check it out. Let's start off with the vintage cards with the original uh, borders. Let's do this one first. So I played back in the 90s. These are the, these are the borders that speak to me. These, these are the, the uh, cards that I played with back in the 90s. Some of these actual ones too. So um, the most valuable one was Helm of Awakening. This is a common, it's from Visions, way back in 1996. It reduces the cost uh, one generic mana. So if you have more than one of these on the board, you even reduce the, uh, the cost of the other Helms down to zero, if uh, you can handle that. So then we've got Soothsaying, Mercadian Mask, Sapphire Charm, Mirage, Draco from Planar Chaos, I think. Uh, Rishad and Footpad, Floodgate, and Night of Dawn. So nothing really big money in these. Uh, even Draco, which is a rare card, is not that valuable. And the big difference between the original printing is that it has the little, the little icon right there. But that's what I got with the vintage card borders. In the 8th edition card border, well, I got one mythic. This was Dragon Brood Mother. Uh, in Rakdos colors, uh, but not extremely valuable. And um, so it's at about $4 for this Mythic Rare. Not an amazing value, but pretty fun card. In the rares, what stood out was the Master Transmuter and the Phyrexian Metamorph. Both of these are about $3. Cheat artifacts into play. Besides that, nothing really amazing in the rares. Maybe some fun stuff to put uh, into some decks, but nothing too valuable. These were the two big ones, three bucks. And I love seeing the his Hypnotic Spectre come back to life. In the uncommons, I got Triumph of the Hordes is the big valuable one in there. That one's about $7, some, do some great Infect action, Crystal Shard, Hedron Crab, then it drops down, Archangel, Elixir of Immortality, Phantasmal Dragon, Breeding Pit, classic from um, Fallen Empires, Black Knight, classic from Alpha, and Ren and Stimpy's Run Vanquisher. So those were the uncommons in the old 8th edition card frame. Commons, well, I got a Nature's Lore, Lignify Serrated Arrows from Homelands, Bone Splitter, and Blastoderm. So in the common here, this is the big money one. And by that, I mean $1.76. So if you're playing some green decks, this is the one you want. Let's look at the foils. So first of all, we've got the Future Sight frame, the Future Shifted frame. I got two of them, this uh, yellow card. Whoops, sorry, it's white. It's just that um, that one looks really yellow and it's supposed to be a white card compared to a blue card. So the Spellweaver Volute is the more valuable of these two. This is like pennies and this one is a little bit more valuable. Now, the problem with the Mystery Booster foil slot is that none of these prices are solidified yet so these these values that i'm seeing it's like who knows if they're like real values yet and uh, this is kind of based on a previous printing the last time this one was printed was two dollars but again i can't find any real prices for the current mystery booster printing of it so who knows it'll if it'll be the same or not up on the commons of foils, we have Pilipala, Boreal Druid, Sakura Tribe Scout, Viscera Seer, Gleeful Sabotage. Not a whole lot of big value cards, but of these, the commons, Pilipala is the big one. Last time it was printed way back in Shadow Moor, it was about 260. Uh, Boreal Druid, yeah, these, again, the values of these has not been quite defined just yet. They are brand new, and some of these have not been printed in a long time. Cold Snap. Uh, Saviors of Kamigawa, right there, right? M11, and another Shadow Moor. So these are the commons. In the uncommon foils, I got a Delay, Harmonic Sliver, Coolrath Knight, Sheltering Ancient, Gilderbairn, 
Bramblewood Paragon, Memnite, Lightning Storm, two of them, Codex Shredder, Sosuke, Son of Seshiro, and Guerrilla Tactics. So these are, uh, these are the valuable ones, $7 and $6. But again, the last time these were printed, um, these, uh, those were those prices, seven and six dollars. These new printings, who knows if they'll be half of that value or if they'll, uh, start to overtake a, a value. So this is, these are maybe very conservatively, these are like two dollars each or so, two or three dollars, uh, but they can go up to the range of seven and six dollars or so. And then besides that, maybe some cool commander staples and cool art and such, but Oh, uh, Memnite is like in my dreams as the zero casting cost one one artifact creature. Um, so those were the uncommons that I picked up in this box. Okay, then we'll go to the rares. I ended up getting Minamo School of Water's Edge. And in the original printing of this, this was a $21 card. Now back on Saviors of Kamigawa, that was true. But with this brand new mystery booster printing, uh, let's say even half the value, $10. That's nice, I'll take that. And then I also got Neogene of Life's Web. This is also from back on Kamigawa Block. So back in original Kamigawa Block, this was about an $8 card. If we take half of that, okay, $4. Then after that, we've got Nezumi Shortfang, Puka's Mischief, and Panglacial Worm. So let's see if this gets up there in value like the original printing. But again, the original printing hasn't print, been printed in, in, in a long time. And this is the reprint version for Mystery Boosters. Jumping over to the uh, 2015 borders um, here in white. Uh, nothing really of value, but I like getting this resurrection. Savannah Lions, Bartered Cow, a cartouche of solidarity. Besides that, there's not really anything that I got in value of the commons in the uh, 2015 border, but some cool stuff for some cool decks, perhaps. Moving over to blue, I was surprised that Leapfrog is worth about a dollar. And then we've got Mole Drifter, of course, Treasure Hunt, Portent, not that big valuable, but this is a new printing compared to the Ice Age version that I have, and Ninja of Deep Hours. So uh, not uh, anything bank breaking, but I was surprised about that Leapfrog in common. In black, people are sleeping on this. This is the Thorn of the of the Black Rose. This is a death touch creature that makes you the monarch, so you draw extra cards. Got one of those. Duress is one of the more valuable ones in black. We have Eternal Thirst, Black Cat, no value there, but I, I'm, a, I'm the cat guy, so I, I, so I singled that one out. And uh, Absorb Viz. So again, not really too much in black. Some cool, fun black cards to put into various decks, uh, but the most valuable that I got here was Duress. Next in red, Mog War Marshal, Earth Elemental, Orcish Oriflame, Everax. Yeah, nothing really going on in red as well. Uh, but what I wanted to do was point out that this Earth Elemental is not the cute old one, the chubby old Earth Elemental that we used to have back in the day. It's this really swole looking one. Moving over to green, Savage Punch. You can get, you can never get enough guys uh, punching bears, good old wild growth from back in the beginning, Elves of Deep Shadow, that one's really cool conceptually, a mana door that gives you uh, enemy color land, uh, but then it, it damages you, so that's cool, aggressive instinct, etc. So some, some green cards, spiders and stuff, and uh, that were uh, the common ones. Continuing on with the extra cards here. Okay, Ty the Drinker in common, Ash Barons, Dismal Backwater. Okay, so uh, of the artifacts, the big valuable one is Thought Vessel. This one's about $6. And we've got a Gruel Signet, Mere Sire, Wretched Griff, etc. So those were the artifacts in commons. Thought Vessel, that's pretty cool, getting one of those. Now, the collation of this, this is a common card, but I only got one in the whole box. There's just so many cards in this set that you're not gonna really see a lot of doubles, even though I did show you that foil red card. Uh, so I, I pretty much got like one of every single card. There were no duplicates except for that red card in foil. So that's interesting collation right there. So I got a Thought Vessel. 
Moving over to the uncommons, we'll start over here. Uh, again, not too much crystal chime, sandstone oracle, millikin, sorcerer's broom, etc. Uh, Crows and verge, tectonic edge, gray pelt refuge, and sigiri refuge in some lands and artifacts. Going to the multicolored stuff, the ones of note, treacherous terrain. Blade Wing the Risen, Lightning Helix, and Blightening. I just love the name of that one. But besides that, in multicolored, um, you can make some cool decks out of them. And again, I just got one of each. So not many duplicates. This is like really such a great box for like commander stuff. That was the uncommons. In green, the biggest money card was a Blanchwood Armor. Then we've got Domesticated Hydra, Roar of the Worm, Overgrown Battlement, Hamlet Captain, Bestial Menace, Snapping Sail Back. So make your green creatures even bigger with some Blanchwood Armor. In red, I got the red hipster card right here, the Curse of uh, Opulence, uh, and an Anger Enthralling Victor. I'm just um, noting this one because, hey, that's me. They totally modeled this card after me. Boiling Thunder, Flamethrower Invoker, Charging Monstrosaur, and Dragon Breath. In black, I'm enjoying the Blood Artist. And what else? Dread Return, Go for the Throat, Annihilate, White of Precinct 6, and Corpse Hatch. So this is the more valuable of the black uncommons. In blue, I didn't get any counter spells. I got a Factor Fiction, Thrumming Bird, Archetype of Imagination, etc. So if you're a blue mage, Mahamoti Jin, uh, that you like to mess with your opponents, Wall of Frost, this is uh, what I got in blue. And over to white, well, I got a newer printing of Mother of Runes. So there's Mom right there. Uh, what set is that right there? Probably one of those battle decks, DDO. And then a Swords to Plowshare, so I, I have one from 4th uh, Edition and from Ice Age, but now here's one from uh, Commander 16. Felidar, Guardian, Core Firewalker, Fleek, Styx, Ram, Cloak, etc. So those are the cards in white. Next, we'll move on to the rares. Okay, so the, one of the big money cards is Recruiter of the Guard at about $10 in rare. Then we've got Collective Brutality, Chromatic Lantern, Vigor, Mystic Confluence, Beastmaster Ascension, Eldritch Evolution, Debtor's Knell, etc. After that, they kind of really drop off. Some things are kind of cool. Ooh, Felidar Sovereign, instant win right there. Shamanic Revelation, etc. Approach of the Second Sun. And these are the rare cards that I managed to pull in Mystery Booster. And then we get to the Mythic Rare. Here's my big money card. Selvala, Heart of the Wilds, 25 bucks. We have Queen Marchesa, nice. Eldrazi Monument and Liliana Death's Mastery. So these are the big mythic rare cards that I got in my box of mystery boosters. I was looking for an Urza's Bobble, Demonic Tutor, Tormod's Crypt, Mana Crypt, and so forth. But adding up all the value here, I think I got some cool cards, some cool playable cards, tradable cards, sellable cards, cards to put into some of my decks. Definitely I'm going to add this uh, Liliana Planeswalker to my Mono Black Commander deck. And uh, Queen Marchesa makes me want to play uh, these colors as well to do a build around. But that's what I got for my mystery boosters. What do you think? What were you looking for? Did you open a mystery booster box? Did you get some cool stuff? Tell me about it in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, battle the Minotaur, get the green key to be alerted to whenever I publish a new video. This has been VM Campos, and I'll see you in the next Crack-A-Pack.